guys, it's Alan Van Wert here after a very long relaxing break to show you more some some more cool guitar stuff. I just realized I missed out on something here. I gotta I gotta give you a little a little restart here. Watch this watch this. I need my lower thirds or else I don't feel important. So let's put our lower thirds back. I'm Alan Van Wert. Here's my lower thirds. There it is. Pretty cool. All right, so. things up i got i have to thank some guys you guys are great you're helping this whole room out you're getting us lots of followers in here even when we weren't streaming so let's go right, right through them here we have now i know this one i did last time molson cheered by the way the first tip ever for the channel that's excellent and then we have the next one up if it works bobby joe hope is following Thank you, Bobby Joe Hope. Then we have another couple of these. We'll go through them uh, because I feel upset that they don't show up on here like they're supposed to. So none of this stuff actually works the way it's supposed to. It's going to keep repeating, isn't it? That's what happens on this glitchy software. Let's see if they all go through. Guitar practice is followed also. All right, so hopefully this works. It goes through all the names who have followed all these people. Um, so thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, now the follower goal says 72. However, I think it's just at 70. I don't know why that's not accurate. Again, um, this streaming software has some problems. Maybe I should program my own. Uh, anyway. I thought today would be a good day for us to go over some basic practicing techniques that you could use in pretty much any instrument. But we're going to do it specifically for guitar. Because I'm a guitar player and so are you, I would guess. And if not, introduce yourself, tell us what you do, what do you play. Who knows? Maybe you don't even play music like me. Maybe you're crazy, a crazy person. Maybe you want me dead. I don't know. That's not nice. So hopefully the stream runs smoother today. I lowered my bit rate because like apparently my internet sucks compared to everybody else in the world. Look at all these following. This is excellent. We have so many new followers here. Oh, I know what happened. I clicked the button too many times and it added up. So we're at 70, not 72. That's fine though. Thank you, Steve. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Um, so we're gonna get started here. I know nobody likes to wait. They're like, why the hell is this guy talking? This is showing guitar. Well, I wanted to thank everybody. Uh, I've been away because I'm trying to exercise. And in fact, there might be a bit of a procrastination. I might be doing the stream right now because I'm not ready yet today to do my circuit training and my four mile elliptical exercise together, which I have to do both of those today. And it's pretty freaking hard. So I'm gonna, I will be doing it. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a break in between though. And uh, I figured I have to, I have to stream. It's been a while. It's been too damn long. Yeah, this looks like it reduced my frame or my resolution down a little bit. Uh, which you know what, honestly, that's fine. Whatever, that's that's fine. Whatever works. Look at all these followers followers on here. I can't say that word. This is excellent. We got two more, two more. We got one i four i v five v. I can't really say that. It's a little bit tough to state. Um, so we're gonna start off with some, again, like I said, some practicing ideas. They're gonna work really well. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put my chat up for you guys so you can see see each other, type into each other now that we got. Cold Laker was our last one for today. Hey, what's up? And let me zoom in here so I can see. We got Craig is saying hello. Neil, what's going on? Neil Nicaster, by the way, excellent guitar player. Excellent musician overall, actually. He sings too. But he was, uh, he's always on doing really cool fingerstyle guitar stuff that, uh, 
holds its own. You don't even need a band with that stuff. It's, he's, he's a smart man. Me, on the other hand, I suck at fingerstyle solo guitar, um, especially improvising. I don't know how you do that stuff so quick. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Jack Butler. You know what? I'm glad you liked, uh, I'm glad you liked my, uh, you know, I got the Jack Butler. Oh, I have too much hair. Hey, Greg, what's new? I hope you're not playing shows. Oh, I didn't see in that band. They're, 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 they're mine. They're all going to, they're all going to get that COVID or something. I'm, I'm afraid to be honest. Um, this chat box might be too big on my screen now. Is that too big guys? Did that grow or something? Hang on. Yeah, that that thing got way too big. Hang on, let's let's shrink this down a touch. Uh, that's a little bit better, right? Whatever. Okay, so for for today, what I thought is simple. It's not gonna be a long drawn out thing. I don't think we're gonna practice some basics of guitar. Um, I might use a metronome. I might not. I, I know that the metronome's trouble on here because you guys hear slapback echo with it. Unless I mute my mic and then I can't talk and it's a whole back and forth thing. So instead of doing that, I should probably make a metronome room on here that I can click into. You are any oh the Yahoo days. Well, welcome, welcome to uh, my new Yahoo chat room. Basically, all we need is the what's his name to kick everybody out. Mesa, he'll be on here telling them they wish they had his triple rectifier. Or no, he had a, um, what was that crazy amp he kept saying he had? It was the, uh, <laughs> Mark IV? Or no, that was too long ago. It was, uh, <laughs> played, oh my god, be careful, man. Be careful. I heard like the the hospitals are getting full again. I, I I'm so, I'm scared of that buckethead stuff. Yeah. Well, that was some of my this. That's my stuff, kind of without my guitar tone. That sounds weird. All right, so let's get down to business. So what we're gonna work on would be sets of three. Now you might think, well, I've done that before. Um, but sets of three is just going to be the foundation for how we're going to look at this stuff. I want everybody to realize that there's a lot of variety in just a small set of things that you do on the guitar. So if you take three notes in sequence, you could play that sequence about six ways, I think. I kind of, something like that. So here's an example. If we took the, um, let's do something people are familiar with. We'll do the A minor pentatonic. So this. <laughs> take that and if by the way if you guys have questions feel free to ask them I'll probably answer them I'm nice like that of course anyway um so we're gonna do three notes so one two three and now you're gonna repeat that starting from the second note oh yeah Greg Howe is awesome he taps a lot too. He's really, actually, he's really, really good. He reminds me of Nuno with the rhythm stuff, he did, the funk rhythm. Then the next three. Third note. Second note. Third note. Third note. Like that. So. And then you start on the next note. You know. Now, what we're doing here is we're ascending three. So the three. Are all moving upwards, and then we're also every time we re complete three, we're moving up in the scale. Excuse me, one note. So we'll one, two, three, and then two, three, four. So when you once you're used to this, you don't want to break. You don't want to go. You don't want to pause. Um, you want to go. Or slow. Alright, now going back down. Now here's where we're going to encounter our very first issue. This is what people do. They say, all right, let's reverse it. Which seems 
cool. It sounds great. Problem is, you didn't play the same sequence. You, you reversed your sequence, too. So we have to do it where we reverse only the the overall direction. So there's the little direction of the sequence, the seated inside itself, the three notes. Are the three notes moving from low to high or high to low? Right? So we were going low to high, so why are we suddenly going high to low? We should be going low, medium, high, and then go down one note. Low, medium, high. So Let's try it together. One, two, ready, go. All right, so that sets of three ascending. Now let's descend them. So we're going to go three, two, high, mid, medium, high, middle, low, and then go to the next note. So our overall, our overall, all, our overall arc is ascension. We're ascending, but we're playing downward sets of three. So. Like that, nice and slow. One, two, ready, go. Start on four. I could hit the oh, wrong button, Alan. That's not the right button either. I should have a drink. Okay, so here's a little bit of a close up. Since I programmed these nice screens, I might as well use them. And I'm going to take a drink anyway. I know I'm only supposed to do that on the tea time, stupid little thing, but we're doing it now. All right, so let's go up. And by the way, anybody who's in here who hasn't followed me on Twitch, uh, weirdly enough, it's important for you to follow me on Twitch. I know you guys watch the streams from like everything else, Facebook, YouTube, and all that. But if you get a chance to, please go to Twitch and hit the follow button on there, even if you don't go on Twitch yourself that much, or if at all. Because what happens is then Twitch will see that the channel is being watched and supported. Otherwise, they have no idea. Because Twitch is just one of the platforms I happen to be streaming to from uh, another upsource channel. So I go to one thing and then it splits out to three different things or four. And Twitch happens to be one of them. Twitch, however, is the platform that I need, definitely need the most help on. I've only got like 70 people on there, um, which is pretty bad considering the thousands that I have everywhere else. So there's obviously some kind of a disconnect there, which we will sort out. All right, so now I, I'm going to show you guys in close-up slow motion. <laughs> It was close enough. All right, so let's go um, descending sets while ascending. We got more.
let's speed this up a little bit. Screw up the end. That's backwards. Oh, by the way, I just threw in rhythmic variations there. If you're advanced enough, you should do those. So slowly with the rhythm variations. Not the flat five. You don't have to, but here's what that sounds like again slow. Right it's pretty cool. Alright, so now let's add a different dimension. A third dimension. All right, so we're going to go up and then down. We're going to go up three. And then you go down three, starting on the next higher note. Like that. So it goes... too complex to show quick so slowly we're going up three then down three on the next one up repeat that now we're gonna do it in reverse now we're gonna do that whole thing but we're gonna reverse the internal order so now we're gonna start coming down and then the next one's up. So earlier we went up and down. We went. Now we're going down. Now we're gonna go the opposite. We're gonna go down. Tell Alan to go to Ola England's show and find the coffee with Ola. There's a drum track on there. Yeah, and your text is getting cut off. Let me move it over here. Uh, let me see. find me on twitch very very good question you want to go to al i'm sorry you want to go to twitch.tv slash 
guitar lesson. That's it. And then you follow me on there. And then what happens is you could uh, always join us on here. Plus, it'll help you so you'll know in advance when we're doing these things. I think Twitch notifies as soon as I'm going live. <laughs> All right, so we're doing this with pentatonics. You can do the same stuff with a, whatever scale set you want. So let's do it. You do it with arpeggios, actually. Yeah. Let's do an A, um, I don't know, let's, uh, an A dominant seven arpeggio. All right, so if we went, and I went sets of three. some sweeping motions doing that an optical illusion I don't know which part um and you're you're welcome okay so what part what was I doing when you asked it that's the question maybe I should start looking at the screen more all right so when I was going oh this <laughs> Anyway, um, I am not really sweeping, however people call it the same thing, so you could call it that. I'm doing economy picking, which means I always pick in the direction of a new string that I'm moving to. That's all I do. That's that's how I play. So for I used to I was a strict economy picker. It's like here, watch if I strict economy that or strict alternate rather. <laughs> Um, can you turn up your mic more? I can, but I have to do it like this because I do not have, actually I could kind of turn up myself over there, but if I do that, it's going to be like a lot of room noise. Alright, so let me see if I can situate this where it's not like in a stupid spot in the way. That's not too bad there, can you hear me better? Check All right, so what I was saying is I am an economy picker. So what that means is I pick in the direction of a new string I'm moving to. So if I'm picking to a new string that happens to be lower towards the floor, my first pick direction will always be down. If I'm moving to a string, it doesn't matter what I just did before it. If I'm moving to a string that's higher towards the sky, or the ceiling, if you're in COVID restrictions and you're not allowed outside. <laughs> um, that was a dumb joke. Anyway, you pick up, I pick up into the string change. That's that's what I do. So here, for instance, if we did a sets of three, I would go down, up, down. The guitar is too loud. Oh, well, hang on. Let me turn the guitar down then. That's that's an easy solution. I'll turn it down for me too. I don't need it so loud. 
Oh, I have the guitar louder for you guys than I than I do for me. Christ, it's probably slamming loud. Sorry. <laughs> Here's what it sounds like with no no guitar on. Should have practiced. Damn it. Anyway, yeah, maybe I'll check out that old England guy. I don't, I don't know though. I don't know anything about him. It seems like I'd just be some maniac going on there saying I want the prizes. You know, it seems not right, but we'll see. We'll see. Hey Lee, what's up? <laughs> That's a good idea. doing that all right so anyway uh any questions before i either close this out or decide on adding more complexity to our phrases uh, we could go up and down with the arp so here let's do this let's go um let's do an a minor arpeggio just to try it let's do sets of three now let's start on the middle uh, sorry let's start on the last note one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Hey, what's up? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I know about the hair. I gotta, I gotta remove the hair soon. I think it's going. <laughs> Damn. We have a brand new follower live. Now this is important because it means that that thing's actually finally working. Mappinaz, thank you for the follow. I don't know why that never worked before. Did I do Voodoo Child? Child? Uh, I don't even remember it. I, I definitely have played it. Um... That's an easy look I keep playing. Um, so I stand up next to the I do have a wah pedal. I gotta start setting that up again. I have the the unit out there. I like wah pedal. I just never have it set up in the studio environment. It's always like either a show randomly I'll hit it when I played shows when that existed. But... Yeah. 
can't feel your back. Jesus. That's nice that you keep it growing. Hit the like button. Fuck you, Satriani. Wow. Satriani is really good. I mean, he, well, I don't know if I haven't listened to him in a while, but. like a jerk uh didn't hendrix use a fuzz yeah he did let's go back to our first so i could read easily um yeah you know what actually screw it let's take a moment to appreciate diet coke cans in giant hands jesus christ what's wrong with my fist oh my Andre the giant you guys ever see andre the giant in that um what the hell is that movie? I didn't mean to jug up so hard in the go. I'm doing the voice wrong. I know I am. Um, the Princess Bride. No, this isn't a gem. And it's spelled with a J. This is um, an Ibanez RT. Alright, back to our deal here. But yeah, Hendrix had some fuzz going on for a while there too. Back when you did the fastest guitar player record speed. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I have a video of me going real quick on um, Facebook. It shows me slow motion close up. I got a, I had a GoPro camera back then and I was so amazed that I could shoot slow motion video. And my first thought was, wait a minute. What the hell does it look like real close? So I put my pick, or I, I put the camera right here with next to my pick. And I'm like going and then i was like oh my god how fat what happens when i pick faster i mess up so i picked as quick as i possibly could and i'm like jesus my my technique's real tight like if you watch that video i'm like ah uh, man i don't know it's it's pretty it's real tight picking it's ridiculous actually especially the one side i'm really tight but it, i counted that i figured out the time is one second clip excuse me no i'm sorry i took one second of the clip um at that speed and i was playing but i think it was 25 notes within that one second just pay, nothing not mute it wasn't it wasn't no mozart it was just one note it was just which they call trem picking which isn't that impressive anyway but uh 25 is got it's got to be up there record wise if anybody cared about that um, as far as this, was that one look I did? <laughs> that stupid lollipop video, I think it was like 18 notes a second I cleared. Um, so that's, I mean, that's really fast. 18 notes a second is faster than John Petrucci's been on record. As far as I know, anyway, um, faster than Ingve by far on record. Not counting sweeps, because if you go, I can do that even quicker. Actually. I don't count that. I mean, just playing like some kind of a scale phrase. But if you're just going, it's like going, like that's you could do 24 notes real quick like that. But I don't count that, of course. But yeah, the fastest guitar player. You know what? The guy in the record books for that, uh, Tiago, I uh, he played rhythm guitar for me on a song for the Intel um, CPU, the processor company. Isn't that weird? Along with Justin Lassen, who had got, he's the reason I was doing it, because he composed some cool music, and I had some cool guitar parts already, and I was like, you know what? This fits. Um, and I was going to put it on my new album for instrumental guitar that never got out there yet. Uh 
closest to Sean Lane, that's thank you. That's a really huge compliment. That's like the best compliment I've ever gotten, I think, right there. That, and there was one guy years ago in the Yahoo chat rooms, he said, now I know what it felt like when pers- when somebody heard Hendrix for the first time. Now, he was saying that because I was doing my really weird-ass... Um... I can't do it with this tone. I'll switch to it so you guys can see what I am what I was saying. But, um, but yeah, between those two compliments, those are the best I've ever gotten. This, this sound... <laughs> You guys, you guys, the point. It sounds like the robot tone. Yeah, that's my tone. Thank you, James Cooper, and how, it's nice seeing you again. I hope you liked your lesson earlier today. Oh, well, look at this one. Uh, how, now, here's the real secret. Of course, every guitar player in the world is like, what is that tone? Because I want to install that. I might. All right, honestly, I don't want to give away totally my secret, but I will. I will tell you a little bit. Um, hey, Drac, I will tell you a little bit. That guitar tone I came up with accidentally, kind of accidentally. I, I was trying to make the Pac-Man sound. In the, yeah, Nintendo, exactly. So I was trying to make old video game sounds. And um, I'll give you, I'll give you, okay, I'll give you the whole rundown. Here's what it was. I was doing a song I called Arcade. And I don't know, you guys might be able to find it on my SoundCloud or one of those things online. I forget where it is now, but it was it was never released. It's just some stupid little track I was doing for fun. I wanted to see if I could make it sound like a video game arcade with just the guitar. So I, I, I was like, what is that? Um... And I did all these weird noises, but there was one that I couldn't do. It went... I still can't do it. It's such a hard lick. It's when Pac-Man dies, I think, or something. One of those characters die. It goes, doo, doo, doo. you know the secret, do you? And then I figured, oh my god, I can't do it. So then I took my hand and I went. It was like, oh, I could, I could do it like this. Or I used to, and I'm sucking, but it, it's. that whatever i used to be a little bit better but that's the trick and i did that and i thought wait a minute that sounds insane when you slide two notes and then i went like this and i thought what if i slide twice It was crazy, and then I figured out I could do. It's on, oh, thank you, thank you for checking that. That I, it's on Spotify. Are you sure it's by me? I didn't put it on Spotify. I hope they're not. Uh, I think it was SoundCloud though. I don't. Either way, whatever. Um, yeah, that's cool. All right. So anyway, tonally, what am I doing there? I have a lot of gain. It's a ton of distortion, and the trick isn't an impulse response. Watch if I just go. It's just a heavy metal tone, that's it, so. Let 
mess it up. But it's a heavy metal tone, right? Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly that guitar. You're right. See that? It's still chipped, too, from the air... The air, air by the way, if you guys ever have to go across the country to play guitar for different companies, don't bring a nice guitar, because uh, the airlines destroy... Look at this. Look at all, how many cracks I could shine it into the light. Look at that. What the heck happened at the airport? What did they do? The, this is all chipping off here, up up there. I gotta cut my arm on it. But anyway, as far as the tone goes, this is the tone. My knuckles look robotic. Yeah, they ruined it. The other day I was joking. I was doing a guitar lesson. Um, it's my, By the way, back to what I was saying. It's not really the tone as much as my playing. I could use like Slash's tone from Guns N' Roses and still do that. But the trick is I, I definitely need a lot of gain. If I don't have enough gain, then my tapping doesn't come out as loud. I'm tapping hard. I'm good at tapping. Like I tap hard. It's just because I'm doing so many things with both hands, you need a lot of gain just to make it easier or else it's going to be a nightmare. Um, Paul Reiser's salt. Okay, so I was going to show you. A, 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 I'll, I'll probably mess it up. Somebody the other day asked me to play uh, House of the Rising Sun because I did a lesson on it years ago. And as a joke, I said, all right, let's do it. Because I knew the guy is not into the stuff, to the shred guitar stuff so i thought here you go i'll play the, the i'll arpeggiate through the chords for you Oop, but, ah, sorry. let's do it easier Where are we? Oh, so, at, what is it? At A minor, C, D, F, A minor, C, E7. We got, we kind of got it. So I was being a wise. I said, um, "How thick of a pick do I do I use, Mitch?" By the way, welcome in, Mitch. Um, this pick is an Alan Vanwer pick, actually. I don't know if you guys. Well, it's gonna be blurry if I try to show you up close. Uh, it has my initials on it because I'm just so special. They put my initials. But this is a Steve Valance. Um, he makes these. He puts a magnet in it, and here's why. Um, I could do magic tricks now. See, the pick is balanced. Now, most people don't have good balance like this. See that? So what that's for is you can wear it as a necklace on, on anything. Or if, I, if I'm like shredding, I can, I can throw the pick right there. Oops. And it kind of grabs it. It is, it is. If you want to buy it, I think he said he's out of um, supplies right now or something. 
go to my, I think I might have a link on my website, alanvanwert.com. Check it out. It might be a link on there still. I forget. Um, that reminds me, I'm supposed to talk about royalties. I'm supposed to get some money for some, I didn't even think about that yet. I'm just being nice. That, that's cool though. He's a nice guy. He's actually one of my guitar students too. But, um, these are good. They're good quality. They're, they're made from V-Picks. So this is a V-Pick, I forget what it's called, a Psycho or something he, he said, which is crazy. Uh, it's a very thick pick. Uh, it's probably like 10 millimeter at least. Yeah, my website is alanvanwert.com. Yep, er. And it, on there they have my bio, like what bands I've played with, what um, albums I've been on with who, um, what recordings I've been on with different all different people and stuff like that sort of thing. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I, I had a website years ago, James, but recently, um, I think it was like last year, I decided I need to have one again, so I put one back up again. Yeah. But this, honestly, this is a, this is a good pick. Um, I, the only problem with guitar picks is that they wear out. Now, here's another pick that they sent me to try called an Infinity. Um, this one's not an Alan Van where it uh, doesn't have my name or a magnet, but it's cool. <laughs> I like this one a lot, actually. Very fast. You know what? Screw it. Let me show you guys this stuff up close. I have the capacity to do this. Now I'm going to have to reason with my camera, so... Let me see here. I don't have a micro macro lens on, but... Let me get a light, actually, here. Oh my god, I can't focus. Where the hell is the stupid... There we go. Jesus, that's really focused in there, isn't it? So here's my uh, Alan Vanover pick. This is... It's got to be like, what, 10 millimeter? Look how thick that is. Here, for reference, here's a normal guitar pick that some guy sent me. Oops. All right. A hundred followers would be cool. And here, oh, by the way, this is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys know this band. Did you ever hear the band um, Machine Head? He, I was gonna say he gave me this pick, but he didn't really. I stole it from him. I put the I I get flown across the country before before COVID happened because I'm so uh, willing to destroy my guitars at the airlines apparently um but no i was gonna say at jam play they had me go out to do guitar lessons and um right before me was what the hell is his name Th this guy rob flynn he was one of them um and he left the pick and i try to actually like his pick it's pretty cool um also the other guy that was there tony mcalpine that's the guy he's a good shred guitar player he's a little bit weird for me the music but um look at that this is this is so thick. This is that insanity one. It's called. It's really nuts. All right, so let me see if I can refocus this thing. Hang on. Sorry about zooming in like that, guys. Let's see, right about there. I should be in focus. I should be. Now let's take a break for tea. I'm actually not drinking tea today. I'm drinking water. So what are you guys drinking? You got to drink enough water to survive as a shred guitar player because you do, you, you need it for your joints. I really do need to drink more water. Oh my God. That's awesome. You're drinking coffee? Coffee's awesome. The only problem is I don't sleep. If I have a coffee, even in the morning, I'm not used to all that caffeine, I guess, or that form of caffeine. Whatever happens to me by the end of the night, uh, I'm wide awake. And I'm like, let's just keep recording. And then I screw myself for the next day's schedule. Oh, cool. I like, yeah, the red looks pretty good. I switched it. I switched it a little bit. I, re I redesigned the lighting because it was too much color in the way. I just did a little, like, a, a hair light behind me. Coconut seltzer. What the hell is that? Coconut seltzer. 
show the uh, F pentatonic scale slow. You're welcome. All right, I'll show it slow. Let me go to the... Dude, I, I'm the same. I, I can only sleep a few hours. It sucks. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, so here's the F minor pentatonic. Do you want it in the, the F starting position here? I'll, I'll do it the whole way. So here we go. And I'm picking with the wrong side of my damn guitar pick, so hang on. All right, so we have F, G sharp, B flat, or A sharp, rather. Actually, that should be B flat, but whatever. All right. C. So let's go the order. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. And then back. Can I do mindless shredding? Certainly. It's pretty much all I do lately, but... I'm just going to do that. Let's do a lick. Kind of messed that up a little bit. Welcome. Oh, thanks for watching. Yeah, turn up the radio. Dude, that's an excellent solo. That was ranked as the top solo that year in the 80s there good question Mitch um yeah I think honestly anybody could learn this I would say it would take anybody about four years of practice if you really did nothing but slowly and accurately practice like for at least five hours a day I'd say so if you sat there for five hours a day or stood there and you went You'll get it. You'll definitely get it. it. It just takes time. That's all it is. It's tedious. That's the only bad part about it. It takes a little while. But if you take your time, you could do it. Yeah. Yeah, turn up the radio. It, it was such a cool song. I can't remember it. I wish I did. I could play it, but uh, it was like... Ah. can't remember it. I can't, I'm sorry. I love that solo. It was really good. Uh, well, yeah, sl yeah. Slow motion is how to practice, though. That's how I used to practice everything. Nice and slow, and then I would speed it up once I was able to do it without mistakes. Uh, the speeding up part, you don't want to speed up by a lot. It's like one beat per minute, you know. And keep track. Every day, keep track, just like weightlifting. Put it on a, a board or on your your computer or phone, and, and every day try to beat your last record. My favorite thing about sweet barbs is when I could get them clean. I, I'm not as good as I used to be with them, but if you take this or this. A little bit messy on the top, but they didn't play them pretty quick. So.
Oh. What's the question here? Um, do you ever have days off where it's like more difficult? Oh God, yeah, most of the time. Most of my days, I'm not that good. In fact, right now, I'm not that good compared to what I could normally do if I practice. I haven't practiced guitar in a long, long time, which is sad. I, I need to get back to a schedule, uh, a routine where I'm actually doing my practice, which is boring. My guitar practice, you guys would never want to really watch that, but the plan was for me to do that on here. But people get bored, so if I went, if I could fly by South Carry. Um. I don't know that song. That's If I Could Fly. Are you sure that's the name of it? Maybe it's a newer one, I don't know. Does it sound like this? <laughs> I'm just I'm making that um <laughs> that was horribly out of key no I don't know the song I'm sorry plus I'm not allowed it's illegal for me to play um copyright material on here I found out uh which is really horrible because what happens is uh they will remove me from here I guess I'll have to check it out sometime maybe later on maybe while I'm exercising like I'm supposed to be doing right now in fact Oh my goodness. I should stay out here for like 10 hours one day and just keep playing. Which is harder to play, acoustic or electric? Acoustic is definitely harder harder to play, I think. Um, unless you have some really great acoustic guitar. I have a good one and it's still kind of tough sometimes depending on what I'm doing. Yeah. Oops. song those guys are really well the, okay so the acoustic guitar the frets or sorry the strings are harder to hold down usually the action feels like they're tighter strings for me so it feels like I need more force all of the time which adds up so if I try to go on an acoustic guitar uh, I could do it but every single note has to be very loud for it to come out as loud as I'd like because there's no there's no distortion because it's not really amplified or compressed. Now, if you put an acoustic guitar into a compressor, it might make it easier. Well, then you might get some feedback depending on how you're set up. Um, seventh. Here, let me just go back to my view. I can read. Um, oh, yeah. What was that song? Is that the one? No, that's Up in the Sky, I think. Do I play Fly? No, I never learned that one. Uh, that's... Uh, I 
it's hard. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's too troubling. The hardest... Uh, these are... Uh, I'm supposed to be endorsed from some guy... Um, Dark Horse Guitar Strings. However, I honestly don't know if that's still a thing on it. So I'm just going to tell you the truth. I just use whatever strings I have. I think these are Dare Dare the Nines right now. Yeah, yeah. Clips to Dover. Yeah, these are Nines, I believe. Let me... Uh, here, I'll switch my tone to more of an Eric Johnson friendly-ish... Something like that. Let me see if I can set this up. It's not really Eric Johnson. It's it's close to the. You would have more distortion too. Let me give it some more gain. There he is. Intonations off. Oops. Yeah. I'll play that on a clean tone. I'll probably fail. Hey, let me let me put a uh, clean tone on. Let's see if I can find one. Actually, I know there's thousands of tones on this one. What's this? It's not really that clean though, there's some effect. You know, I could clear the effect off of there, hang on. Here, no reverb. There you go, there's, this is a plain, dry, clean guitar. Uh-oh, I know who this is, can you make a C flat, a C B sharp, oh my god, no. That's hard to clean, all right. Linda Ronstadt. and Steve Vai are the same guy. Mm -hmm. 
Let me try that lollipop lick that was hard. So, what? Oh, sorry. What lead? God, they, Racer X. Racer X is like um. Ah, I don't know technical difficulties. I forget what happened to that guitar that you used in last. Oh, I still have the guitars out there. The three sweeps from Painkiller. I don't, I don't know, but I remember you talking about it. What the hell? I forgot what we were doing with it. I remember you bringing it up though. Painkiller. The painkiller! I don't like that guy singing on that. Zappet in his audition kept asking him to play musical passage with more and more complexity until finally played. He said, well, that's impossible. And I told him. Wow. That's a funny That's a funny statement. I like that Frank. Well, I like Frank Zappet. I think. <laughs> No, I didn't yet. speedy things like that what was I gonna you know what maybe I could jam to some Oh my god, I just, first of all, I just switched from one ACDC song to another, then I ended up doing the lead to, uh, uh, Van Halen, what song was that? Panama. Yeah. No, it sounds like the original albums. It's got that same sort of thing, yeah. It's they they don't mess with their formula in ACDC. I mean, it works extremely well. No, it's it's it sounded to me the little bit of a demo I heard sounded right on exactly the same. It sounded awesome. It did. It's got that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I had to on my song I've been working on, which by the way, that song's almost finished. Anybody want to hear it? I could play it for the world right now as like a little example. It's not totally done though. Maybe I shouldn't play it. 
Uh, I shouldn't do it. I'm too nervous. Yeah, I, I can't do that because what if it's? <sighs> I gotta be making changes to it. It's a cool song though. I have to finish my guitar solo. To be honest, that's the one thing I have most of it done. There's the middle, but anyway, yeah. On that song, I did drop D tuning. I'll give you a little. I'll give you a snippet. Just a little. If you could convince, if everybody could convince all of their guitar friends to, um, to, hey, what's up? If if you could convince all the guitar playing friends to come on here and um, follow the channel or whatever it's called on this Twitch, then I'll do it. Oh, Avenged Sevenfold would be really cool. I like I like their guitar playing too. All right, so let me. Uh, now I can't play over my song because it's gonna mess up. What I have to do is mute my microphone. So you're not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to talk. So I have to mute my mic, and you guys just listen to the song. Now keep in mind, it's not a final version. I'm not sure. There's a lot of stuff I might be changing and all that too. So first of all, let me make sure if this works. All right, so I'm gonna mute my mic, and you guys tell me if you could hear the music or not.
So there shouldn't be an echo. So I think I might have figured it out. I have to mute one of my other inputs on here. I didn't realize. <clears throat> oh, I see what it is. It's my desktop audio. Let me mute that and try it now. It was off. I brought it back on. It should be good now. All right. Let me try this. Tell me if there's an echo now. Hang on. That's enough of that. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, I like that song still. I'm still mixing it, and again, I gotta finish the guitar solo and that vocal at the end. God! I held the vibrato too long. I just sorry, I just blew out my voice. But I was holding the vibrato too long at the end, so I have to go back and edit that or do something. I have I have three variations. One of them is actually better. I have to put in place. I think still. Oh, oh wow, have you seen that picture online? That's not good. Oh my god. No, I did. I, I dressed up in the, for the 80s once for a show. Once or twice. Does it sound like hysteria? Tonight. 
It kind of does. It has a little bit. Of that. I see what you mean. It's got that that drum part too, doesn't it? <clears throat> that slow kick snare, boring drummer thing. I probably need to shut this down so my throat is gone. My voice. I hope I don't have that COVID. It's not even. That's not even funny. Not even a little. That sucks. I get a little bit nervous about that. But my sore throat could be that I had lessons all day. I've been talking, talking for hours. And now it's time. I have to do a four mile elliptical uh, journey. And then I have to, right after apparently, I have to do um, circuit training, which is really hard for me because I'm too heavy. It's going to be interesting. Anyway, before I go, any last minute question? And are you guys coming back next time? We got to get a bunch of people on this chat thing. <laughs> I think that's more the most popular, well, or the most well-known, financially supported guitar player because, oops, oh my God, I'm so sorry, guys. The record labels certainly help that notoriety. Um, am I on tomorrow night? What is t tomorrow's Thursday? Thursday at midnight. Yeah, I have a group lesson that we'll be doing. Yep, -er. I'll see you there. But I gotta be honest, I don't want to do those horrible songs. But no, we'll, we'll we'll take a look at it if you want. That's cool. We'll mess with it. All right, everybody else is very quiet. I think they heard my song and got mad and left. They said I don't like this '80s throwback um, fight music. I was listening to "Love on the Rocks" the other day from Poison's second album, and it sounds like Tom Schultz Rockman. I don't know who that is for some reason. Do you find Marty Friedman to be a difficult guitarist? Um, a little bit. Yeah, here's why. Two, well, two good reasons. Number one, or three reasons, we'll give you. Number one, he has really, really cool feel in his phrasing, doing the, um... Yeah, I used to do Red Hot Chili Peppers. I don't remember any of them at the moment, but yeah, I used to play some other stuff. Um, the other thing with Marty is that he has such a weird technique with the picking that to sound like that, you kind of have to do all down picks, it seems, to get that flow that he has the way he plays. Uh, his vibrato is another good uh, issue that's it's tough. So those are the main reasons, and then the other thing is his... Um, uh, well, I guess that falls into the feel. The the um, his is the way he phrases stuff. It's kind of unique. Is you know how Van Halen has this weird way of phrasing, and uh, who's the other guy that always jumps out? I don't know. There's a couple of them that have Slash is another one. They have kind of weird phrases that aren't un they're they're a little bit unique. Um, Marty definitely does the way he holds off on certain notes a little bit longer than others, and. Um, It's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. 
he's he's got it. It's it's hard because he he's Marty Free. He's got his own weird sound, his own feel. Yeah, I could tap like Eddie Van Halen. Here. Actually, he taps with his index finger like this. But... Those sorts of things. I don't. I don't know. I actually, wait. I did. I did listen to one of his albums. I loved it too. It was really cool. A lot of variety in his in his melody uh, and harmony options. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. I have to go. I don't want to exercise, but I know I have to. Plus, my voice. I'm overdoing it. I'm straining it. Yeah, please uh, remember to go to the Twitch thing. And twitch.tv, if, if uh, Steve could put a link to it, if you guys could click it, it'd help. Twitch.tv slash guitar lesson. And you'll be able to get notified, hopefully, if it works right anyway, you'll be able to get notified when we're doing these things. Um, so you can have questions ready and all that. But yeah, good night, everybody. Good morning, depending on where you're from. Who knows, because I do have Australian students. And the one Japanese dude, too, who's always asking for some weird songs. I don't know, but that it happens. But all right, everybody, I will catch you next time. Now, I do have to do my final scene, and I always hit the wrong button. So you see what I did? I hit the wrong button again. All right, thanks a lot for stopping in. I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything we could improve on. All right. Yes, give him, give him this, uh, the Twitch. Yeah, guitar lesson. Thank you. There you go. All right, I hope you guys loved it. I'm out with my period, but I have to hit right there.